sometimes I just wish my body would act normal. Like just do your job, you know what I mean? That's what you make it. Hey guys. Hey. We're coming to you from eight in the morning. Um, we're both actually in the car on the way to work. We left Caleb's car at my work last night because we were in the area and then drove home together so that we could drive there together and then he can go to work from my work, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, we, I feel like this is like our chance to spend time together so it kind of worked out and we're saving a little bit of gas, so win for us. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot more traffic though from your work to my work instead of how I usually go so I hope it doesn't take me too long. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, so today is kind of a whirlwind of a day. <laughs> we have, um, I have some things that have come up um, with my medical concerns and um, I have to rush over to the doctors and get a checkup and everything and it's kind of turning into a, a bit of a big deal. So um, yeah, I'm heading to work to help set up for something and then I have to run out. So I'll catch up with you guys and kind of explain that whole thing. All right, it is time for us to part ways. <laughs> I love you, have a good day at work. Love you too, bye. Bye, and let me know how things go. I will. Okay. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm back in the ultrasound room. Um, yeah, we're gonna check to see if everything is okay. Uh, I'm not so sure though, cause things don't sound very good, but um, we won't know until we know, I guess. <sighs> oh my goodness, it's so hot actually. <laughs> Woohoo, spring is coming. All right, so. I am on my lunch break right now. It was such a crazy morning, like go, go, go. Literally, I was running my butt off to try and go to my appointment, get back. Um, today at preschool, we were doing like a Mother's Day tea, so all the moms were coming in and we were making cupcakes and stuff, so I didn't want to leave everybody else hanging, so I was trying to be as fast as I could. Um, so yeah, so I didn't get a chance to obviously let you guys know what this all is about. You're probably like, what's wrong? What's going on? So to start off, like I'm okay, like it's okay. Everything's I think gonna be okay. But um, basically if you guys remember, uh, over a month ago I had my saline sonogram and um, you might even remember I was telling you that like it was kind of like rough. <laughs> I think because she had to do it twice and it was like a little on the rougher side. So ever since then, like two days after the sonogram, I started spotting, I started bleeding and it hasn't stopped. Like it's been, like I've been keeping track on my phone on like this uh, period tracker app and like it's insane how much bleeding there has been. Um, like there's just like days and days. Um, so two weeks into the bleeding i was like oh, this is a, this is a little concerning i knew that spotting was going to be normal because you're kind of um irritating things in there um so after two weeks i was like oh, I, I don't feel comfortable with this so i emailed um my clinic in chicago and um i figured that was the right person to talk to because they're the ones directly dealing with my um actual like medical stuff and so I emailed and I just said like this is what's going on they said you know keep an eye on it as long as it's not heavy bleeding like it should be okay so I was like okay like we'll we'll just keep going so it's been like two and a half almost three weeks since then and I was kind of like I was telling Caleb like I'm really concerned this isn't normal like nobody can tell me this is normal like I feel uneasy about this especially because we want everything to be as good as possible for when a transfer was to happen so I was super like getting so anxious and just really worried that um, we were gonna be in trouble so I called the clinic here in our um, hometown and yeah they were like uh, that's an issue <laughs> so they had me come in kind of like urgently um, to get checked out right away and that's what I did this morning and of course that puts panic in my like feelings of being worried already I was like they're heightened because the doctors and nurses are concerned too so yeah so I was worried um, one thing I was thinking is maybe there was like a tear um, from like 
the actual sonogram. Um, maybe there was like a cyst that had ruptured or something like that because I, I often have cysts. Um, I wasn't sure of any of that and you know part of me wonders like am I gonna have to have another surgery like is this gonna be something serious that delays the transfer is it gonna like cause issues um, am I not even gonna be able to carry a pregnancy like all of these things were going through my mind and I was so incredibly worried and I oh my gosh so um, yeah so then I finally I went this morning and we did an ultrasound and from what we can tell so far they like nothing looks bad um, my ovary looks okay um, my like uterus I don't have any like cuts or scrapes or anything there is the blood and um, the thing is is because I'm on birth control right now uh, I guess it like thins your lining and so that could be the reason so the solution, oh my gosh, <laughs> the solution for now is going to be, I'm going to stop taking the birth control right now, um, try to have a full like period, um, basically press the refresh button on my whole system, I guess, then start my birth control back up as soon as like that bleeding subsides. So yeah, and I'll be in contact with them, letting them know if everything seems good after that, like if the spotting stops, but man, that was a whirlwind. Oh boy, that was stressful. But I think it's going to be okay. It sounds like um, the biggest worry was if I had an infection. So I have a blood test that I'll do tomorrow to double check and make sure. Um, so after I get the results for that and we see what's going on the next week, then we can see if we're in the clear. But oh, you guys, like sometimes I just wish my body would act normal. Like just do your job, you know what I mean? Like it's so frustrating that no matter what's going on like I always feel like there's something wrong or something causing issues or I don't know yeah and I haven't had a surgery it's almost been a whole year and so it was really like I was so nervous that it was gonna be like some annual thing like we have to mark on the calendar oh Ayla's annual surgery so so far no surgery but <laughs> Yeah, the life of infertility and endometriosis and everything, it's crazy. So yeah, I thought I'd jump in the car, um, give you guys an update, but I'm starving, sweating, so I'm gonna go back to work and we'll catch in with you guys when we get home. So I got um, that mask that I was telling you guys about, but like Amazon gave me an aggressively large box for the small amount of items I got, but I'm excited to try it out. And like I said, I'll let you guys know uh, what I think about it after I've tried it for a few times. Um, and I'll also link it down below in case you want to check it out as well. But look at this box, this huge box. And all it is is the apple cider vinegar and the mask. Like what's the point? <laughs> So today I kind of kicked my butt. I'm exhausted. So I'm literally just going to go lay down <laughs> and wait until Caleb gets home. And then I think we might want to go for a bike ride today because it's actually sunny outside. So I don't know. We'll see how we're feeling. All right, guys, we're at the Tim Hortons. We're yes. going to ride our bikes and go find somewhere to eat this food. Exactly. We finally get to enjoy this beautiful, like, sunny day. It's what? Yeah, yeah. 24 years? Yeah, yeah. We'll talk later. The sun's in your eyes. You just want to go. <laughs> action you know what I can imagine I can imagine us like doing this but with our little goobers sitting there those little grubbers yeah little every time we do anything little <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about every time I do anything I feel like I always imagine us doing it like as a family okay. yeah evening. Evening bike ride. Nice shirt. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice. Yes, Very I good. I've seen my shirt. Oh my goodness. Guys, I got my shirt on Monday. Oh yeah, we Snapchatted about us. Follow us on Snapchat if you want to get the inside scoop on stuff. But yeah, pretty exciting. It is. Yeah. So you got yours and I finally got mine. So, and then my parents got theirs this week and it's all good. Yeah, my coworker got hers too. Yeah. And she wore it. I was so excited. Yay! Yeah. So now I'm just uh, shamelessly promoting myself around the neighborhood. <laughs>
Yeah, there she is. There's my girl. Did you miss us? <laughs> Cute. Hi, Ellie. How's my helmet head? Not bad, actually. You need a haircut, though. Well, we decided to set up our table and chairs. It's not premature at all. It's not gonna snow. It's not gonna snow. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on wood, man. We haven't passed May long weekend yet, so the chances of it snowing are still pretty high. Yeah, I know. So yeah, so it's kind of nice though to get a taste of spring at least. I know, I'm so happy. This is like yesterday was nice, today is nice, tomorrow's supposed to be the same. <sighs> yeah. We've been missing, missing this. Like the winter felt so long. It did feel so long. But I'm just glad that nothing like horrible came out of today, out of yeah. my ultrasound. Like I don't think I'm in the clear yet, but I think nothing horrible is happening, which is uh, good. <laughs> it's yeah. lots of positive. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated in one of the vlogs to come as soon as I find out um, if everything is back to normal or what's going on. But yeah, yeah. so if you guys could keep uh, us in your thoughts, that would be great. Yes, guys, please keep us in your thoughts. <laughs> and thank you so much. I think that's it for the... I think that's it for the video today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Ellie, do you want to come in the vlog? Come here, Bubbies. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ellie, go. Stay. 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 Good girl. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you like riding bikes in the summer, give it a thumbs up as well. And subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Have a great weekend, guys. Bye! Oh, Ellie, look at that golden rays bouncing I off know. of your blonde little fur. She's so cute. So cute. Am I right? <laughs> You're cute. You always gotta come back and get